This one we've had about three years now, um, but on the pilchard fishing we've been doing that, um, this is the tenth year I think, that we've been pilchard fishing. And when we started the market was, well, lucky to sell a couple of tonnes a week into London markets and small wholesalers. But now it's about up to about 4,000 tonnes a year, all the boats are catching in Cornwall, and most of it is going into the supermarket trade for fresh. A pilcher takes about three to four, five years to grow to full size maturity. They're sexually mature way before that spawning, so they replenish themselves quite quickly. Uh, years ago, they used to fish for pilchards in the daylight. This is back in the 16, 17, and 1800s. They would have a hero looking on the cliff, looking for patches of dark water where the shoals of pilchards were close to the shore and where birds were working them as well. And then they give a hue and cry for the boats to be manned and go out there and shoot the net around the pilchards. And then they use a tuck net to scoop the fish out and they put them into baskets and onto carts and they take them away to salt them. So that was the old way of catching pilchards years and years ago. Right, we've got a plotter here which tells you where you are, like a GPS gives you like a map of where you are in the ocean. There we've got a sonar that's scanning around looking for, for shoals of fish, like a radar underwater. We have an echo sender which looks directly underneath to see what shoals of fish are underneath and what the seabed looks like. Um, and then we have radars as well to see what other shipping's around to avoid them. So there's quite a bit of electronic equipment as you can see. Basically we look for a shoal of fish with a sonar and the echo sender. We uh, assess which way they're moving and follow them, stalk them and we shoot the net around them. We've got a net that's 400 metres long and 100 metres deep. And we shoot around them in a circle, around the shoal, and then we close up the bottom of the net and make like a cup shape and enclose the fish inside that cup shape. And then we bring the net in from one end, bring it back aboard, and you end up with a pocket of fish alongside the boat, which we then use that small scooping net to brail them out, it's called a brailer and we braille them out of the net at about two, three hundred kilos at a time, put them into the tanks in the middle of the boats, which, which has got water and ice slush mix in it, to keep the fish fresh. It's quite a long season. We start fishing them in July, and we'll carry right round till April. We built the market up when we started. You couldn't sell more than a couple of tonne a week and now the UK market last year I think it was just over 4,000 tonnes for the whole year um, was sold into the UK so yeah the, everybody's work that they've done in publicising sardines and the work we've done in catching it and processing it has um, sort of helped to sell more and more of them plus they're a cheap fish and in times of recession cheaper fish are in better vogue than the more expensive fish plus it, we tick all the green boxes of sustainable fishing, responsible fishing schemes. Um, and there's a big stock of sardines, so, you know, we're uh, only taking a, a tiny fraction of the amount of fish that are here. The value of a pilchard, you're talking about, on average, probably 300 to 350 pound a tonne. We're fortunate on this, it's a non-quota species at the moment, so we can um, fish away on them. Well, recently it's been quite reasonable fishing, and so there's anything between five ton and twenty ton. So you don't know until you actually do the night's work what you're going to get. It might be a nothing week. It might be a hundred ton week. You just you just don't know. And you think you're on good fishing, all of a sudden it will cut, fish disappear, and that's that. So on a balance, you know, on a year that. You, you know, it, it is a viable operation at the moment. But if you've got too many vessels fishing it, the price would go down because there'd be an oversupply um, and then it wouldn't be viable anymore.